Welcome to iSpring Learn. If you just signed up for iSpring Learn and are not sure what to do next, you're in the right place. When you sign in, you will land on the iSpring dashboard. From here, you can see important information such as how many courses are in your account, number of users and groups, if there are any assignments that are ready for evaluation, and new courses in your account. You'll also see a side menu that will take you to other areas of the LMS, like learning content, trainings, users, reports, and settings. Let's start by adding your teammates and learners to the account. Right now, there's only one user for the account, you. To add more users, select New User and fill out their information. You will need to select a role for the user. You can choose from Course Author, Administrator of a Department, or of the entire account. Then save your changes. Or if you want to import new users, you can do so here. To get in touch with your learners or answer their questions, use messages over here. Okay, now let's jump into learning content to look at how to add content to your account. It's more convenient to store content in separate projects, so create your project first. It's easy to add courses and learning tracks to it or create training pages with pictures and videos as well as links to web content and assignments. You can also upload ready-made materials for employee training, documents, presentations, video lectures, webinar recordings, and audio files. Courses can be created using iSpring's authoring toolkit, iSpring Suite. It's a desktop app that can be downloaded at www.ispringsolutions.com and installed on your computer. You can create comprehensive courses and upload to the LMS right from the tool. The course will appear under learning content in your project. Once you've added content for your course, you can enroll any user already added to your account. Just select the course in the list and click Enroll Users. All enrolled people will get an email with a direct link to the course and can view it in their learning portal. By the way, you can easily jump to the user portal to see the LMS as a learner. Finally, you can check statistics to see how your learners are progressing. On the reports page, you can collect info on the learning outcomes for each course and learner. To create a report, select it from the list and set up filters to see exactly what you need. Then analyze the results and adjust the learning plan if necessary. And there you have it. Now it's time to upload courses to your iSpring Learn portal, enroll your learners, and check learning outcomes with reports. Good luck!